hello everyone welcome back so today we will discuss about z score and its importance so let's first start off with its definition so z score is also known as standard score is a measure of how many standard deviation and observation or data point is from the mean of the distribution and it is calculated by subtracting mean from the individual observation or data point and it is divided by standard deviation so that's how a z score is calculated now after calculating the z score value we usually refer to z score table so it might look really daunting you don't really have to worry about it because as a data scientist when you will use programming languages like python and its packages you can easily get these values you don't have to remember or look up to this table but just to understand i will give you an example how you can actually use this table and how you can actually calculate things manually if you have to so to understand c value we should actually take an example we will take an example of uh, average driver's retirement age in formula 1 so average retirement age of formula 1 driver is somewhere around 35 and we can take the standard deviation as 2.5 so with that if we want to know what percentage of uh, drivers get retired before the age of 36.5 let's say or let's say 36 just to keep things easy we can do 36 minus our mean is 35 divided by standard deviation which is 22.5 which will become 1 divided by 2.5 and this should be equal to 0 0.4 so this is the z value you have got let me also draw the distribution first so that it will be much more intuitive to understand So now that the age is normally distributed if we wanted to find somewhere around 37 which is our first standard deviation so if you wanted to know how many drivers retired before the age of 37.5 we could have easily used our 68.95.99.7 rule and it would have given us around 84 percent of the drivers retire at the age or before the age of 37.5 but now we want to know 36 which is somewhere around here so this is an arbitrary point and uh, to find this we can use z uh, z score so z score is around 4.0.4 uh, so what we will do is we will look for 0 0.4 on this table and uh, then we will go on to take this value which is 0 0.65542 so it tells us that 65.5 percent of the drivers retire before the age of 36 now you might also ask that okay now i understood these z values but what is 0 0.00 0 0.01 0 0.02 so it is nothing but the second value after your decimal point so in this case we have zero so that's why we have taken 0.00 and this value but if let's say for example it was 0 0.43 we would have had taken this particular value so now you get the point and uh, yeah it is that simple now let's take another example just to clarify things even more now we want how many drivers retire before the age of 37 so again we will do 37 minus 35 divided by 2.5 and this will be 2.2 2 divided by 2.5 which will be 0 0.8 now we will find 0 0.8 on our table and we will take this value which will be 0 0.78814 it can be 78.81% of the drivers retire before the age of 37 so now you might ask okay fine now we are seeing for all the values which are bigger than or greater than mean what if i want to find someone at age 31 so how many or the percentage of drivers get retired before the age of 31 how will i do that because 
in that case z score will be negative and i don't see any z score values here so let's take an example so now we want to know percentage of driver uh, gets retired before the age of 31 so again we will use our z score formula so here it will be 31 minus 35 divided by 2.5 so this will give us minus 4.2.5 and this will be minus 1.6 so you can see that we are getting minus 1.6 so if you want there is another table which is specially designed for negative z scores but we are going to just stick to this table and we will extract that value from this table itself so for the time being you can ignore minus and you can look for 1.6 on our table and you can see that this is the value so now to get to for minus 1.6 you will just do 1 minus 0 0.9452 and uh, this should be equal to 0 0.054 or 5.4 percent of the drivers get retired before the age of 31 so that is the importance of z-score and uh, that's how you can actually find the proportion of people or the percentage of people within certain limit or within certain range now that we have understood the theoretical concept of it let's move on to our notebook and actually try to calculate it using python because that's how you will be doing most of the times so yeah let's move on to our notebook and see how you can do that for demonstration i am taking an example of uh, distribution of marks achieved by students in a test and here mean i have taken as 60 and standard deviation as 10 so here is the probability density function and here is the cdf now we want to find what's the percentage of students have marks below 73 so if we see on this uh, cdf plot i should have changed it to cdf but yeah if we see 73 73 will be somewhere here and if we just extend this line and it is intersecting at somewhere here so if i again project it on y-axis you can see it it is coming somewhere close to 0 0.9 and uh, that is around 90 percent so if we try to see that using the z score we can see that it is coming close to 90 percent so to be precise 90.32 percent so how did i find this so i created a function for z score using the same formula we discussed in the slides here i am subtracting mean from the observation and dividing it by standard deviation so that that, that is giving us the z score now to get the percentage i am just passing my z score to st.norm.cdf so now you might ask what is st.norm.cdf so it is nothing but a scipy stats package from there i am importing norm.cdf and i'm passing this value so i did exactly what i showed you just now i have plotted or i have put 73 it went to our cdf line intersection and it took the projection on y-axis and it is displaying you 90.32 now we want to see for negative z score value here you can see that we got z score of 1.3 now we want to try for negative z score so for negative z score i'm taking 35 so again it will do the same thing 35 will come somewhere here so again it's a very small value so z score is coming to be minus 2.5 and from that i calculated the percentage now there are few things that you need to see that here i want to know people who have or students who have scored above 35 so what i mean is 35 is here so i want to know people on this side so if we see our probability density function 35 is somewhere here so i want to know all the people on this side and not on this side so for that purpose i had to do 100 minus p by 100 minus p because i have multiplied it by 100 if i hadn't multiplied it by 100 here i could have done 1 minus p so that's what we had discussed uh, earlier 
in slides as well so we are getting 99.379 percent of the students have scored more than 35 now these are two problems which i have shown you now what you can do is as part of your task it will be a very good uh, exercise now so you can modify z function where you pass just the data and not mean and standard deviation and also along with the data you can pass the observation for which you need the percentage and uh, then you can calculate mean and standard deviation within the function and then you return your uh, z score by calculating it so that is your first task my second task is you need to tell what percentage of students uh, have got marks between 42 and 71 so if you do actually go through the tasks you can actually let me know the answer in the comment section if your answer is right i will let you know if it's not correct then probably i can give you some guidance so uh, that's there so yeah this is it i hope you found this video helpful and i hope you were able to understand the importance of z score and hope to see you in the next one happy learning